Hello, alright, as promised I'll make the rest of the review about this OBD-Link MX. So here it is, I'll plug it in into the car port, which is somewhere down there. Here it is, neatly plugged in. Not much light, but you can believe me that it is. I'll flip the car engine on and also turn torque on. Now this is the latest version of Torque, some improvements over the previous but the biggest improvement in here is of course the OBD link which is already talking to the car let me see if I can get... actually I'll do something I'll bring the phone down in here As you can see how it is completely in sync with the car on RPMs and tapping gear. Okay, maybe I missed it. Oop. And maybe I missed it again. Okay, now I got it right. So a lot of car data in here. A lot of people are interested to use both this application and this hardware, the OBD Link, as a replacement for a boost gauge. I don't know how accurate it is, I can't measure it scientifically, but I can say that it, uh, its response is pretty quick. As you can see in here. As usual, I'll show you all the things that we are able to log and track in here. Actually, I removed the other windows, did I? Might be that so. No. Some more in here still. Everything pretty much in real time. And I have to say that there is an improvement in the response time, both with this, uh, the latest version of Torque, both with the latest version of OBD Lincoln, because also the phone that I'm having is faster. This is also a mixed review for the Torque application. And I can do something here. Oops, I closed it now, sorry. Let's go back to it. We can see also that one of the plugins we'll have in here will tell us all the data that we can get this torque scan. Okay, so in here we can basically see everything that we will be able to track or load uh, to the torque application to get uh, results from, to get uh, values from. Uh, of course, that for these ones to work, we would need to be moving using the GPS. But for instance, in here, and it's one nice thing is that it gives us everything here in real time, so we can see what to add or not just from here. The temperature it kind of matches the one from the car might even be more accurate because I think that the one that the car reads there is two degrees over the average temperature I see elsewhere so this one might be more accurate A lot of interesting information. Uh, 
I'm just going to cycle a bit through all of these and you can see everything that is in here again one of the key things in here is that of course by using the OBD link you get re real-time information that's uh, smooth and very quick response very accurate uh, in real time while with other cheaper adapters my experience has been that um, you get a delay so if you need the accuracy it's not so good and on this case also you can read a lot of PIDs and not all of these uh, adapters are comfortable with reading with reading uh, many PIDs at the same time but on this case there is absolutely no issues so it's one of the key selling points I guess for the OBD link is one very quick response and second can read a lot of PIDs PIDs or whatever it is how we pronounce it and um, this latest version this MX is particularly good in all these things that I mentioned uh, of course that a lot of what you see in here depends on the car ECU itself not on the software which is Torque and not on the hardware which is uh, OBD Link so they will read both of the software and hardware whatever the car provides of course that if the ECU doesn't give information about certain uh, certain item or parameter that you might want there's not much you can do about it but it's not the fault of the software and it's not the fault of the hardware it's only the car ECU so different cars will read different things okay this is the end of this list and let me just go back a bit again maybe one too many and now in here we can see some bits about the adapter status and information in here so can see what is going on you can see the manufacturer which is scantool.net and the adapter version which is how it reports the new OBD Link MX faster communication enabled which is something that not many of these devices will support and uh, the OBD link in particular is uh, very well supported by Torque and even recommended. And of course in here you can see the improvements that we had about uh, reading a lot of PIDs at the same time, which this is doing with no problems. Information about the vehicle and the protocol it uses. It can read the brand of my car. I won't show you the VIN code, hope you don't mind, but it gives a lot of information about the vehicle and also which sensors we can read out of this particular car. Here we go, here we see them, and also the version of Torque. Okay, I hope that this video is helping you a lot and if uh, you enjoy cars and if you enjoy doing a lot of um, tinkering with your car this is a quite good application for this purpose I'll show you in the next video another application that I also like and use a lot which is called uh, ALAP HD so bye